you do have to be retired from the state of North Carolina in order to be eligible. Okay. Uh, there are opportunities I, I failed to mention, but under our umbrella of state employees credit union, we serve several different institutions, including local government, federal credit union, North Carolina Press. Um, so there may be additional opportunities to join too. For example, if you volunteer at the hospital, uh, parks and recreation, um, local fire department. So if, if he specifically is not um, involved in one, of, in one of those ways, he may have a family member that is. And again, it's just a minimum requirement to open what we call a share account with $25. And then your immediate family can also join through you, sibling, parent, sp spouse, or child. So that may be an alternative right. for him to, to join the credit union. Well, a point that Travis put down here, I know that mortgage rates are currently down. So I would assume now is a great time to refinance from your um, perspective, Amber. We are really seeing some unprecedented numbers with mortgages right now, which is great. Uh, I mentioned earlier, we did implement the new mortgage system, which has been an interesting challenge to do that in the middle of all this. But again, it does provide so much ease and convenience to the membership that it was important to do um, to provide that ability to electronically sign. Um, but yes, it, it is a, I right. find it's a very popular time for mortgages and refinances and people still purchasing at this time. Well, Travis also adds that uh, he mentioned that uh, he likes the features of the money market account compared to other financial institutions. Yeah, and I can expand on that. We do offer traditional savings. As I mentioned, it's a requirement to open. In addition to that, we offer um, a money market share account, um, which is still a traditional savings. There is a higher minimum deposit requirement of $250, and um, it does earn slightly more interest than your traditional savings. And the only requirement right. is to keep the minimum at $250. Do you believe that the growth in the, your industry and the credit unions have grown because of the massive changes we've seen in traditional banking? Even though uh, people love technology, when they have uh, a need, if there's something going on with their accounts or something unusual or they, something they don't understand, they want to be able to talk to a human being. They want to be able to talk to someone that can understand and listen uh, and reach out to help. And so at that point, all the technology kind of goes out the window right. uh, in terms of, in terms of, you know, they want to get to somebody and they don't want to have to go through all these multiple telephone, you know, push this button, push that. <laughs> and, and that we're different that way. I truly believe it is the credit union difference that takes the part, not necessarily a particular product or services. On you know, we you can get those up in other places. But, uh, our company of service among those products, and our, and our dedication to the member themselves. Um, you know, when you're with me again, if we need to bounce your checkbook, we can do that. Or maybe we need to refinance your vehicle to save you money. You can also do that. Um, we like to think of ourselves as um, not just order takers, but what else can we do to help you? And what other capacities can we serve you? Um, and so I think that's the difference that stands out that people realize credit union is here and they have their best interest at heart. And again, also knowing that there's no incentive for me um, as an employee to, do any, to treat you any differently than I would someone else because um, again, we're, we're all salaried here, so. 